Welcome uh, back to Champion's Journey, Episode 3. We've got a really exciting weekend ahead of us here. Um, we're going to be doing something that at least Ronan and I have never done before, and that's going to a race in Las Vegas and borrowing a car for the first time in 10 years of racing. We'll be racing in a car that isn't art, so that'll be a unique challenge. Um, but before we get going, uh, I need to explain why we have this beautiful white stock car here. Whose car is this? Mine. Yours, and yeah. your name is, young Bella. lady? Bella. Bella. Yeah. Bella is our niece and the newest member of our race team. How long have you been racing, Bella? Two years. Two years, yep. And uh, last year was your first visit to Akron. Yeah. Right? Yeah, got the shirt. And um, what's your favorite part about Soapbox Derby, Bella? Going down the hill. Going down the hill, all right. And since you've been traveling around to races with us here for a couple years now, what's been your favorite thing to do? The big ramps in Las Vegas. Really? Yeah. Whoa. We're gonna, I guess, see you, check them out for ourselves this weekend. So Bella actually raced in Vegas last year, so what, are there any any tips for us? Well, they're kind of like our track. You wanna go to the outside, not in the middle. You gotta run the outside of the track, yeah. huh? Think you're gonna be able to handle that run in the loaner car? All right, <laughs> give it a go. All right, All right. Um, we're we're running. Ronan's had a pretty good start to the season. He's had three firsts so far in rally racing. So we're kind of at the point where we need some more points to just to lock down our spot in Akron next summer. We kind of like to do that before the uh, um, the winter break here, so that we can pick and choose our races uh, in the um, spring. Uh, you know, go to the ones we want to go to and which ones give us the best practice and everything. So um, this is going to be uh, our mission this weekend is to, to secure some of those last valuable points uh, in the rally race. So come on along. Hey, if you like what you're seeing here, please hit subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. All right, we're here in Vegas. You want to race like a champion, you got to learn to swim with the sharks. All right, Will and Ronan, you give us a, you ready for racing tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. So here we are looking up the track and you, as you can see we're in the desert. We got some desert plants here. Um, this is one of the more unique places we've raced. This is a closed off parking lot of a, um, RC Wiley Furniture Store, which is not open on Sunday, so this entire parking lot is empty pretty much, except for Derby people, which is really nice. Um, we got a freeway nearby, so a little bit of noise, but it's not bad. And the weather out here is just unbelievable. It's 75 degrees and beautiful, even though it's second week in November. Um, you know, you couldn't complain. Pretty good slope on the track. Um, you, as you can see, it's all sloped left, so you got to drive both lanes to the to the left. Um, the ramps they've got here are awesome, and I'd say they're getting 20 mile an hour speeds out of these cars. It's real driver's track. It's a really fun track. One of the one of the more fun places we've come to race. All right, well we're out here in Henderson. Uh, it's just the start of the day's racing. We've got the um, scales over here, which have just been put away. We weighed in all the cars, get them to the right weight and tail weight, so everybody's racing on fair terms here got a good field it looks like we've got full fields on super stock masters and I think we're within one of a full field on stock so lots of kids out here racing lots of families um, you can see it's warm already here in Vegas even though it's middle of November it's like gonna be mid 70s today just absolutely beautiful and you can kind of see down the track as I'm panning here it's this is in a uh, furniture store parking lot so it's a but it's a bit of a slope here, so we're probably going to be hitting 20 miles an hour. Going to be a driver's track whenever you've got uh, 
a slow track. It's um, it's all about driving, and they have these big ramps here that all are right, used so to uh, start the racing. Setup at any rally race starts with the uh, cars in the morning, and and we. Uh, Fortunately, I wasn't on the ball enough to film us actually doing the work, but we had our little setup here and put the cars up on the dollies and used the tools to uh, check the basics of the car. Triangulation, uh, which is whether your axle's square to the center line, the um, spindles on the axles, uh, checked our weights, checked a few other uh, elements of the cars, and then after that you move up to the weights and, and then the cars were going now we won our first heat so uh, off to a good start and my niece is racing I think she's getting ready to have her second phase of her first heat so the team's off and running. Here we've got our important folks at the uh, top side area who run the race they've got the official brackets here and then it's some brackets for people to look at and see how people are doing and they're getting the times radioed up from the bottom can't run a race without a lot of good volunteers helping out. There's a couple good Masters cars going down to the finish line there. All right, Ronan had his first run in the loner Chiquita banana car from the Knapp family. And now we're teeing up for uh, phase two of his first heat. Pretty good run first time there for in the first time in a new car and he's got some tough competition here I think we've got uh, more than a full field on master so it's a good race here today okay, Ronan's uh, second phase in the first uh, heat of the double he's got to get out a little more than that I like to have them tighter to those cones, but it's a little bit rough. Here we've got Alyssa Gardner loading. She's from the Gardner Gresco family who helped put this event on. And they've got uh, made some nice modifications to the ramp since last year, make it longer and smoother transition. So these cars really come out of here smooth and fast. driver all tucked in and loaded up they want to get on these super stocks you want to get low in the car so you're and your helmet back flat so you're cutting through the wind there you go okay cars coming down the track Super stocks, rub, hugging those cones. Okay. All right, we're here in lovely Las Vegas, Nevada, Henderson for a rally race. I'm lucky to be joined by Mr. Andrew Knapp of Lake, Lake Forest, California. Lake Forest, California. We've raced with the Knapps for a lot of years here now. Um, Andrew, how long have you been at Soapbox Derby? Uh, I've been in Soapbox Derby for eight years now. And what's your favorite thing about the sport? Uh, I got to say my favorite thing about Soapbox Derby is probably got to be just getting to meet all these neat, uh, night, bleh, nice people <laughs> and just, you know, being able to hang out with them. All right. It's all good fun. And what? And for new drivers, what kind of tips do you have for them? Um, don't look at your opponent when you're racing. That's a terrible idea. Yeah. You'll actually just turn towards them and possibly cause a crack. Car goes right where you look, huh? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, that's definitely one thing. Definitely do not duck your helmet. Um, be sure to always look forwards. Yeah. And you've been to some of the big races like the NDR and, and Akron. What, yeah. What's your favorite race each year? If even if rallies or the big races, what, what's your favorite race? I don't really know what my favorite race would be because I do like a lot of the races. I mean, NDR, Akron, they're all fun and all, but I've done them for so long that 
I've gotten used to it. You have fun at any race, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. All fun right. Fun and just driving. Well, thanks for joining us, Andrew. All right. All right. Well, we're finishing up the uh, stock cars here in the first uh, of the two races wow. today. This is a double elimination race, and then they're going to follow up here this afternoon with a single elimination race. So we get two races in one day. We've got a uh, good view here of the big ramps they've got here in Henderson and um, did a lot of work on them this year to um, uh, get them to be smoother. They added some length and some little run out bits on the end and they got a really nice track here. Um, super smooth. Here they come. Here come those stock cars. Go racers! It's a California against a Las Vegas car there. And then they're loading a... Uh, my niece Bella up here into uh, it's my brother-in-law uh, David floating her to uh, be uh, for her Queen of the Hill ceremonial run and then she'll take on uh, ultimately the, the uh, winner of the consolation bracket that will race off for first and second so she's got uh, uh, no worse than second line, lined up there and, um, and she, but here's this is just a ceremonial run she's going on All right, we're here in Henderson, and I think you're queen, huh, Willa? Or Bella? Yeah. Way to go. You ready to keep on racing here? Yeah. What's your secret? We need some help. We didn't do so well that first one. Um, get down low. Get down low. That doesn't help in a master's car. What's your other secret? Uh, go to the left. Go to the left. That's what we need to do. We weren't doing quite enough of that. Okay, that's the words from the expert there. All right, Patty, anything to say? I just so proud of my, my baby. All right, you having fun? Having so much fun it's, in this it's, nice it's hard to have fun in Vegas, huh? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right. All right, here's the final of the uh, stock double, the first race. It's Washington versus California, I believe. It looks like they're both driving those lines pretty well there. Let's see how it goes. Turn a little to the left in well, we're having a bit of a rough race here. We've, we're have we in a loaner car, and um, which we're, we were very, very generous. Uh, friends of ours were kind enough to loan us. And each of these Masters cars is really set up to fit the driver very specifically. And so we got in here and did some runs, and it turns out the headrest is squeezing Ronan's temples to the point that uh, it's kind of borderline unsafe. So um, we're doing a little mod here um, to just get a little bit more headroom. Uh, after the the helmet and so he's not getting that pinching going on so it's a typical kind of thing you might deal with at a race you're doing a, a repair in between heats but uh, yep all right first uh, heat of the double or single good luck Dave Going against Andrew Knapp of uh, San Diego and really tough race here. Looks like they're both going hard left there, trying to get every bit of that crown. And Ronan better bring it around hard here or he's going to have his hands full. Hey, you two. Ronan, you having fun? Yeah. All right, we're kind of at the end of the day here. We're uh, losing daylight. Hopefully we're gonna be able to finish the uh, single. It's gonna be tight. Everyone's hustling, trying to get cars uh, on the ramps and still got a lot of racing to do out here. All right, wave to everyone back home. It's been fun today. Today, third place, Aubrey. Second place, Kate. And our first place today goes to Bella. Bella. Yay, Bella. Yay, Bella. Yay, Bella. And first place today is Alyssa. Third place goes to Andrew. Second place goes to Melanie. 
our first place is Michaela. All right, you guys, uh, Bella, you did great. What was your secret today? Skittles. Skittles. That was the secret fuel to drive well. Nice job, Bella. All right, well, we made it back from Las Vegas safe and sound. Ronan, you have a good time at that race? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was pretty cool racing on like a new track, and the track was a lot different than any other of the tracks we've raced on. So. Yeah, it sure was. And uh, what would, would you think of the uh, those big ramps? Uh, the ramps are awesome. They're super steep, so you went fast down them, and they're also really smooth. So. Yeah, they did a nice job with that. And uh, 75 degree temperatures didn't yeah, hurt either. Yeah, it's been like 30 degrees down in the PMW, so 70 degree weather was really nice. Yep, yep. Um, really proud of our niece Bella. She uh, managed a couple of firsts against a tough stock field. She's off to a great start with four four wins and four races in her uh, fall rally season here. So she's burning it up out on the west coast in stock. Um, want to say thank you to the Knapp family for loaning us the really nice Masters car. Uh, we did our best to get it tuned up really nicely and um, had some close close uh, losses of around a thousandth of in the thousandths of a second. Um, didn't manage to podium at this race, but uh, did manage to get um, 35 points, which uh, secures a spot in Akron next summer. Um, we found setting up a loaner car was not quite as easy as we thought for them in the master's division, huh? Yeah, it's a lot different than racing your own car. It's, yeah. it's hard to get used to. Yeah, we um, the sight lines are really sensitive and, and um, we couldn't quite get him dialed in where he could see the, the front tires. Uh, um, couldn't get him quite high enough in the car, but we did our best and had a good time. Um, let's see, so for our next episode of Champion's Journey, we're gonna be leaving for Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, gonna have a long drive from the Pacific Northwest out there. Hopefully that will be uneventful given we're pulling a trailer and it's the middle of winter. Um, we're gonna be racing at a new big race called the Invitational, which uh, has one of the strongest fields put together in the last 10 years. Uh, a lot of the top racers in, in each of the major divisions. Um, we'll be racing a round bottom car, uh, flat bottom masters car, and uh, we're gonna be taking our niece Bella in their stock. So we got three cars to move out there. Um, a lot of setup work to do in the shop over the next week. Probably burn some midnight oil. And uh, we'll film some of that and then uh, film the trip and uh, share it with you guys on the next episode. So thanks for joining us. See ya.